next event is a drag race. But as you can see from the surface, it is not a normal one, no. We have a mud pit. I am screwed. Uh, <laughs> this is not... Well, I have a plan. It's not going to work. But I'm going to do slightly better than if I didn't do it. Uh, so this is a 1v1 kind of knockout tournament, if you like. I'm up against Rusky first. And I, uh, my car is never going to make this if I do this legit. Which is why I am kind of not going to do it legit. Uh, because my plan is... I don't know whether I can do this. Uh, it's very cheating. However, this is the wacky races, right? We've got to use different things to our advantage. Rusky will make it, but I'm trying to... Oh, I've got no turn. I've got no steering lock to do this. My steering's so terrible. Right, I'm just trying to go for as much momentum as we can it's still not gonna work i was hoping rusky would get stuck <laughs> rusky hasn't <laughs> i can't do anything else <laughs> it was just carry as much speed my goal was hope rusky gets stuck what is rusky doing <laughs> what's going on <laughs> rusky's lost the steering i think <laughs> Rusky's out. Damn it, if Rusky had gone in the mud and got stuck earlier, we could have maybe cheated our way past. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> it's, the mud drag racing with the wacky cars is not really working. <laughs> it's not worked with this lot. Now, the big lifted trucks that have not been great handling, they are going to have a better time here. Oh, Rusky's going to sort it <laughs> across the line. Well done, Rusky. It's fallen over. Oh, well, it's made it. Rusky is through to the next round. I am eliminated, but I got a lot further by cheating than I would have done any other way. Our next round, it is a brazen with a double decker versus zombies. Roman, the Roman's going to make it through. The Roman is a very sensible option for this. Brazen's double decker uh, is not. Let's put it like that. Let's go and see what happens. I don't know whether Brazen's going to follow my idea of the cheat and go for the run-up. Nope, Brazen is going for the mud, and that's why I didn't launch mine forwards. <laughs> Brazen is stuck. Zombie is through the mud, a big wheelie off the, off of the mud, mud, mud part. Uh, now it's just got to put the power down through the wall. Oh, God, that's so deep. Even if I somehow managed to cheat my wave, I mean, yeah, there's just no hope. There is just no hope. Of course, this is... The whole point of this is a little challenge series. The Roma is through, and the Roma's looking quite fearsome. Brazen is trying again and gets to the first bit of water, and then is immediately stuck. Well, that is the end of that. Well, there is a spanner final. Funnily enough, I don't think Double Deck is going to do any better there. Our next heat is actually an interesting matchup. We are really not quite sure what way this is going to go. Because we have got Joe with the Bolite, but it is jet powered, which is probably better at getting it through the mud. I feel like that might. It's not about traction, ultimately. Uh, whether that jet has enough power to actually propel it through the mud, I don't know. And, well, Lano has a D series that, in theory, should be good, but it's the weird double D series that technically would be front wheel drive. I don't, we don't know what's going to happen. It might get beached. They both both might get stuck. Who knows? We are going to get them ready. We are going to set them on their way and see what the hell happens here. As we are go, it is the, the jet car is into the mud and it is going and ladders immediately got stuck. Oh, no. The Double D series has not worked. The jet car is going very well. The bolide... Oh, it's struggling a little bit with the really deep water. Don't think it's quite as quick as the Romas. But that's impressive. It's going to make it. It has made it across. The uh, rocket car, the jet engine machine, is uh, victorious. I wasn't expecting it to make it. I thought it might stand a good chance against Lalo's. Lalo's is just, it's not quite worked. It has just got stuck, unfortunately, in the mud. That is the Roma out of it. Not Roma, sorry. The D-Series out of it. <laughs> Joe is going on to the next round and has decided to show off by going back down that track. Well, that's just, that's just adding insult to injury. 
at this point, isn't it? Is it going to try and ramp Lado's vehicle? No, nah, didn't really work. For our next heat, final of the heats, in fact, we have Impega's Glider, and we have Shadow with the Mad Max Roma. I mean, if the Glider could pull something amazing out of the bag, it would be glorious. We think it's going to be difficult for it. Uh, but you never know. You never know. We're going to give it a countdown. We're going to launch them and see what happens. Uh, the Glider, actually surprisingly good in the mud. What's this? I was not expecting that. Look at it go. The Roma, it's, the Roma is not the fastest of the Romas. I think Shadows is obviously slightly differently built. Look at the glider. The glider's going to make it to the next round. The glider's across the finish line. Oh, was, no one was expecting that. Least of all me. Well done in Pega. That's fantastic. I get, maybe that's an all-wheel drive spec one. Um... I'm going to guess possibly. Maybe the glider bit helps, actually, because you get a little bit of speed up and then it wants to hop out. It wants to glide. It wants to hop above the water and the mud. Uh, shadows to the spanner final. Impega does some celebratory donuts. And I think well-deserved celebratory donuts right there. That was unexpected, to say the least. So unexpected. My game has crashed. Oh, there we go. It sorted itself out. Well done, Impega. So it is on to the spanner final. Uh, where it's pretty much going to be between Shadow and Ollie as to who goes through. Shadow was trying low range and it didn't really work, so I'm expecting the Roma to fare better here. Me and Brazen, I think, are going for the same idea. I think Brazen has learnt from what I did, and we're likely to see some run-ups here. It, really, the competition is between me and Brazen is, is to do with scoring points. That's what me... Well, in fact, Lado's doing it as well. This is all about the scoring points to try uh, in the overall grand scheme of things. Because, uh, yeah, we've got to outdo each other because we, we know we're going to be last in this. So we're just, yeah, trying to outdo one another. Uh, okay. Here we go. Bolide. Uh, what has happened to Brazen? Is Brazen blocking the center bit? Oh, no! Oh, no! Problems have happened! Go, Bolide, go! Go! We've had another very big accident, but it was successful. <laughs> Apparently, my game... Well, it's been a very... It's been a very fail racing event. Where basically, I'm scoring points by rolling my car around. Um, well, it's, it's extra not last for me. Uh... <laughs> Uh, this is very, this is very silly. Somehow I bounced off a wall and we've ended up, we have ended up in the mud pit. Most of our time was not spent in the mud pit, but it was. I don't know actually who won. I guess we'll find out. Someone was keeping track. We were having our own silly competition of fling cars on the mud. I made it across the first section. Poor Lado. The Double D series not had a great time. What a silly race that one was. So, following the absolute hilarity of the Spanner final, it was Shadow that made it through, by the way. Apparently it was a close race up at the front while we were farting about and rolling cars. Uh, we have got Joe with the jet car, Rusky with the thing. I've still not really figured out a good name for it. Uh, I want to call it a trike, but it's not really a trike because it has two has more wheels than my car does. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh <laughs> We're not sure where this is going to go. Both can make it. If Ruskies doesn't lose its steering, it could be quite close. Because um, Joe's doesn't really like the water. Ruskies bounces a bit too much as we head through the first section. I think Ruskies is just too difficult to control. Well, the jet car... Oh, no, Ruskies has fallen over! And Ruskies' steering's gone. And I think that might be the end of that. It looks like Joe is going to be making it into the final with the jet car. Oh, Rusky just flung it across the track and is now a ball of wheels. Joe is through. The jet car made it. Well done, Joe. Uh, and yeah, Rusky, that didn't work. Nah, it, it was so light. It was all right when it was against me that got stuck. But against other vehicles, it was just too uncontrollable. And yeah, it has become a ball of wheels. That's not quite worked so well. But yeah, the jet car is on to the final. My game is having a little moment.
Our next semi-final has got the two normal cars. The two... I say normal cars. The two Romas are ready to go. It uh, could be quite a close fight. Shadow with having sorted out what gear they need to be in will hopefully stand a bit better chance. Um, the zombies looked very fast, actually, in their heat. So I think, I think zombies are still going to be the one to beat, but we shall see as they are launched and off underway. Yeah, zombies has just got better tyres, better clearance, something like that. Although well, Shadow a little bit better over that jump. Lost it a bit on the impact. We're into the deeper water now for the pair of them. It is going to be Zombie that gets victory. Shadow tried. Shadow got close, but not quite close enough. Yeah, curious to know what the difference is. I mean, they're on the same tyres by the looks of it. Um, maybe it's the lightness of, uh, of zombies that is the way to go. But uh, there we have it. What, one Roma is through, one Roma is out. The last of our semi-finals. Interesting matchup. I mean, we're expecting we're expecting the Grand Marshal to be strong here, and Pega's easily the surprise package of this event. Can the glider throw a curveball in here? There is a chance. The, the Grand Marshal is very top-heavy, and we've seen it bounce around and run the risk of falling over. If it falls over somewhere down here, uh, that would be a disaster for Amy. We're into the mud section. Oh, Impega's not had a great start. Impega's wandered quite a lot. Amy has got away without falling over here. Uh, the glider, it was a bit of an iffy start. That Grand Marshal is very quick. It's bouncing around and it is across the line for the Grand Marshal. Uh, Impega not quite as good of a run this time around, I don't think. Uh, it, is a, it makes it. I mean, does a lot better than mine did. But uh, <laughs> the glider is out. However, no one thought it was going to get that far. So, yeah. Oh, we'll have to do the times. It's either a fourth or a fifth place for the glider. Still a great result for the Mud Pit Drag Race. Now we've got to see who is going to be able to take a victory. So, we are on to the final the big lifted Grand Marshal, the big lifted Roma, and a rocket-powered Bolite. It's a weird final. Wouldn't necessarily be what I would expect. Uh, now, we have got three cars running, of course, which is going to be a little bit more difficult uh, for them. They are going to have to negotiate. I'm expecting it to be between the Roma and the Grand Marshal. However, if anything goes wrong, we know the rocket car is going to make it. So we are off and underway. Heading up towards the first bump. Oh, the Grand Marshal looked a little bit lopsided. Bad landing for the Grand Marshal. Here comes the rocket car, actually. Um, oh, Amy's just got so much power in that. It's just so good at getting itself out of the mud. The Grand Marshal's going to win. Uh, the Roma of Zombie is second. Joe is going to make it across the line in third. It closed a little bit at one point. Unfortunately, I think it got a little bit stuck and then just didn't have the ground clearance. Oh, dear. And it's, oh, there we go. Still fine. Didn't quite have the ground clearance to make it. But still, good showing. A ramp car doing you know, into the final. But yeah, perhaps no big surprise with the winners in this one. A fun little event. A very different sort of race. And Joe is off to celebrate at very high speeds. And fly. That's difficult to keep up with and catch. But yeah, well, <laughs> that's the end of that. That's a silly little event. But we've had some fun with these wacky races. Yeah, I think the Grand Marshal, if it doesn't fall over, it is really the one to beat here. The next wacky race, we have come to the downhill mayhem map. The goal is simple. We have got to get our cars to the bottom. This is the toughest of the routes, pretty much. And yeah, first one to the bottom is the winner. However, the vehicle must be in a drivable condition, i.e. it must be able to accelerate and still have some steering. That's not really perfect, but does have to be able to steer. If you get to the bottom as a crumpled heap of metal in a car further back makes it in one piece, they will be the winner. If no one makes it in a drivable condition, then the first car down uh, will be the winner. So this is a good challenge. It's a good balance, sort of a risk versus reward. You can go very fast to try and be first, but if you crash and your car is undrivable, it doesn't count. So yeah, this is going to be a real challenge. I feel like I have half a chance here 
we've got better tyres than a lot of the big lifted vehicles. Um, we have got quite a lot of speed compared to some of these other cars. The thing I've got to be very careful of is my ramp getting stuck on the bumps. I am a little bit worried about that. Uh, I am a bolide at the end of the day, and I am quite light. Joe is going to be very fast. Uh, in that, or oh, my frame rate had a dump, and that has been bad. Now, Impega has a very sneaky advantage, which they are more than allowed to use, as is the way this works, but Impega can fly. So Impega can actually avoid all the obstacles, but Impega does have to land, which, you know, isn't going to be particularly easy with that. It, it's so weird seeing Impega flying away. Uh, there is a brazen in front of us. I am going on the brakes, trying to get my vehicle onto this middle ramp. Now, I am being a little bit cautious at this moment in time. Oh, making sure that we're going to be able to make this. Oh, that's a big amount of air time. Bolide, get down. Bolide. Oh, Lado sent it quite quickly. Lado's come flying past. The D-Series is absolutely going for it. The D-Series has wiped Zombie out. Uh, oh, Brazen, don't come back across in front of us. Joe's crashed. Impega is to the bottom. Oh, we've done a front flip. We might still be. A, we might still make it to the bottom, but I don't think we're going to be drivable. Impega has made it. Impega is victorious. Amy is second. We did a front flip across. The, the Moes did dig in, which I didn't want it to do. Ah. Uh, I mean, we're definitely not drivable down there. Uh, <laughs> Impega is, I believe, the winner. I don't know if Amy's car works at the end of that. That looks like that might have rolled and fallen apart uh, over there. Oops. Uh, yeah, we went trying to. So we were trying to catch Amy and I went too hard. Um, okay, so Amy works but rolled at the end. It looks, uh, unfortunately, it looks like a few have made it in working condition. I think Shadow and, uh, we've slipped down the order. We ended up like fifth, I think, in that one. Because, yeah, our nose did dig in uh, to the ground there. The plane did actually win a thing. The plane did amazingly well. Um, <laughs> Joe's got cut in half. <laughs> Lano was going incredibly quickly, but uh, crashed on, has got caught on the train line. Ah, uh, bloody hell. What a round. Well done to Impega for getting the plane to victory in that one. Joe is going to make it. Uh, nope, Joe's actually just stopped short of the finish line. But, uh, oh, the plane is a little bit, a little bit broken. Yeah, we... We had, we, we, we got the thing that we didn't want to have happen. We got the nose caught on the floor. In testing, it cleared it. Unfortunately, that time around, it did not clear it, and it got stuck. And Rusky is a tumbling ball of wheels. By the looks of it, that's not going to have a working drive shaft anymore. <laughs> what a silly round. Well done, Impega. Good job with that one. Used the glider to the best of its abilities. The next event brings us to the Baja Rama circuit. Like very loud fired up then. I think it was the covert. Uh, yes, we are at, the, on the Utah Extra Map, Baja Circuit. Three lap race around here. This is a race to till destruction. If you uh, put your foot... So you can choose how fast you go around the course. If you put your foot down, you might be the first one across the line. But if you break your car, you are going to be eliminated. So again, this is another risk versus reward. How fast dare you go? Now, my slick shod car with a big door on the top and ground clearance issues probably not going to be great compared to, well, them. Well, maybe not Joe's might struggle. Impega can glide over bumps. So, yeah, we're going to... We're going to just sort of set this off and see how it goes. My goal is to just make it to the finish line. I will say this bolide underneath is actually quite strong. I think there's been some, like, reinforcement has gone into this. And, I mean, there is always the potential that I could roll someone over just for the fun of it. Um, there is that potential. But, of course, I'm, I'm rear-wheel drive. I don't turn. I have slicks on this. Um, it's, it's not going to be great here. Hello, Lado. Uh, I really don't want to tangle. I don't really want to tangle with anybody. Oh, as I say that, I am literally crash welded to someone. Oh! Uh-oh. Hey, Joe. Uh, K. 
can you be unstuck from me? Uh, okay, that works as well. Uh, I was about to go and do similar things. Uh, <laughs> hello, Rusky. Uh, now, that has gone poorly for me. I don't have much steering at the best of times. Um, as you can see here, we just understeer, we just go straight. Now, my goal is going to be to get to the finish line, right? Because I'm expecting some of the cars at the front are going to break. Someone's going to go too quickly. Someone's going to fall over. Someone's going to shed some wheels. Uh, oh, God. This, this is just the worst thing in the world for my car. At least Joe does have slightly better tyres than me and has more traction. Because, well, well, I say traction. It's not really... Joe uses a jet engine to fire it forward. And I have to try and put my power down onto the... So slicks are bad at the best of times here, right? But mine's made ten times worse by the fact that the door is scraping on the floor. Well, because it has to, because it's a ramp for launching stuff. So I just get understeer galore in this. It's so bad. Uh, but there's, you know, it's what happens sometimes when you go for this. Ollie has had a very big accident and has rolled over. So we are really hoping to pick up places as vehicles are stuck. Uh, Lado is not moving, which makes me think Lado... Oh, no, no, I take it back. Lado's name plate was going very slowly, but it is still moving. So the Double D series is on the move. Uh, come on, Bolide. Oh, I've got to be careful doing that, because I could break my oil pan. Amy and Zombie are up at the front, uh, as you would expect here. Those are the sensible vehicles. The glider's not doing too bad in third. Shadow's caught up to Ollie, and I have had a 10-mile-an-hour spin... And that's not great. Brazen is still going in the 40 over double decker car. Uh, Lado has overtaken Joe, and I'm going to slow down here because my oil pan will just disintegrate uh, if I take these jumps. Well, that's that's the big concern, right? Is the oil pan will disintegrate? I don't know how much of a car Joe has left. We can maybe not be the way. <laughs> so bad to drive. This just doesn't turn. Oh, Joe's had a big accident. I don't know if Joe's car is still a functioning car anymore. I'm going to go with I don't think that is. I think that's a tree now. I think that's a bit of the Baja scenery. Sorry, Joe, I cannot help. Uh, I've just got to take my car that's really out of its element. Please don't break the oil pan. Please don't break the oil pan. Uh, Lado isn't a million miles away. I mean, at the end of the day, I have no idea. As of recording this, I don't know what the point situation is like. I think we're not... I think we've done okay. We've had a couple of bad rounds, though. So, any better finishing position, any points that we can gain, could be critical by the end of it. Could be, like, super, super critical. So, I really want to try and beat Lado. And if I break my car now... I don't think there's any chance that we can do it. We're really hoping on leaders having problems. I can see a steaming car up ahead. I think that was Ollie. Um, but I just I can't take any of these jumps as doubles because my vehicle is just... It's got no traction to put its power down. So if I risk it, oh, the chances are we're just going to clonk the oil pan and then, then all of this work here is for nothing, basically. Okay, we are through the worst of that. Can I catch up to that double D series? I've got to be so gentle with the throttle through here. And then, again, through this next corner, it desperately wants to swap ends on us. I think Ollie may have broken down. I think that might be. I can see a steaming wreck of a car, and I think that is the covert gone. Uh, I'm going to guess either overheating or drive shafts. That thing has got quite weak drive shafts. To be fair, it's got massive wheels at the front. A lot of stress is going through those those half shafts, and I think that might be what has ultimately killed it. Um, we have a flappy boot cover or a flappy engine cover going on. We are gaining on Lado. Lado is is knocked... Uh, um, oh, half shaft snap. Yeah, those, those are pretty... Uh, pretty weak on that car. We run a risk of being lapped at some point, I think, by Zombie or Amy. Uh, <laughs> I just cannot put any power down here. We, we're at 30 miles an hour and everything is crossed up in this car. 
Uh, Braze, so because Brazen's on some sort of sports tires, they're just so much better, so much grippier here uh, than, than our vehicle is. Uh, we have gained some ground. I was hoping for more, a higher attrition right here. I mean, we, we desperately needed a higher attrition, attrition rate, really. Uh, hello, Lado. Oh, Lado's looks a little bit busted. We are going to go for an overtake. But we've got to not get goaded by Lado. Lado will try and goad us into making a mistake here. Oh, Impega looks steamy. There could be... We can hope. We can hope for some other breakdowns. We're hoping for a brazen breakdown. We're hoping for anyone further ahead. Lado might have broken down, actually. Uh, see, on, I mean, on the final lap, we might have to start... Uh, do we... Problem is, if I start sending it in this, I can't really gain... I can't gain anything on brazen. This is the issue we've got. Uh, even if I start going for it, you know, well, and risk it, we can't really realistically catch Brazen, barring a miracle. Uh, however, we're gonna keep, we're gonna, we're gonna try, we're gonna try. Oh, that's a clonk. In fact, it's Amy that's now leading the way. We are very close to being lapped. We will be very close to being lapped by the end of this. There was something went crunch in that. Oh, come on. <laughs> It's so painful in this car. <laughs> oh, like I knew it was going to suck for these kind of events. And there's nothing I can really do about it. We just know it's going to be pain and suffering here. I think we have caught Brazen this lap, you know. We definitely are catching Brazen. Now, whether it's enough, it's potential Brazen's taken some damage and is, is ailing a little bit here. Uh, we really are hoping to see problems for some other cars. You know, if Impega's glider can have an issue, uh, it doesn't look like anyone. It looks like everyone else is still circulating, uh, which is bad news for me. Amy is still back there. He's almost caught Lado. I mean, Lado's vehicle is still going. Oh, Amy might have fallen over through the motocross section. Um, right, Shadow's still going. Looks like it, as far as I can see. Okay. Bolide, you've got one more lap. While this, I appreciate, is not the absolute height of intensity when it comes to wheel-to-wheel -wheel battles. This is one of the hardest I've had to work on beam ever just to keep a car pointing the direction that it should. This desperately wants to do things that I don't want it to do. It, the front end doesn't turn in and then gets massive oversteer and this is all at like 30 miles an hour now sometimes we can use that oversteer to help turn it into a corner that was a better corner for us uh oh i'm taking a few more risks trying to catch brazen i mean we have made up some time if i could put my power down it would be great like there i would love to take that as a double but I can't because I just cannot get the power down because we will just break the car. So Amy's taking victory. It looks like Zombie's going to get second. Not a big surprise there. Shadow may have broken down. Shadow's nameplate doesn't really look like it's moving very much. So, yeah, Shadow may have broken down. Apollo has some opinions on this event. Uh, oil radiator damage. Don't care about that. Unimportant. Uh, oh, yeah, looks like Shadow is in trouble. Shadow is currently spinning around in a circle. Now, can Shadow get that working in time before oh, before we get there? Okay, so Edu is in second. Impega has broken down. That's another position for us. That's good news. The positions are coming our way now. So Impega is stuck. We could... This is going to be the battle for third, actually. If Shadow is stuck and busted, it could be between me and Brazen for third. Now, I really desperately want to boot it down here, but I don't have the traction to take these jumps. I don't trust my car to take those as doubles because I just cannot put my power down. I think it could maybe do it. If it wasn't for the fact that we risked throwing away a fourth, potentially a fourth place, Shadow is stuck. We are gaining massively on Brazen. Well, not massively, but we are definitely gaining. So there is Shadow. That's Shadow uh, pass. or well, we are past Shadow now. Uh, we are taking... I mean, I can go... I can do this, because I'm not worried about... If I break the oil pan now, it doesn't matter, right? Break the oil pan on this part. We won't overheat before the end. Uh, come on. We are catching Brazen. 
Uh, both engines have gone bang for Lado, because of course Lado has two lives with that. Come on, Bolide. Brazen is ailing. Uh, oh, and we are abusing a poor Bolide here. We are abusing a Bolide, desperately trying to catch a Brazen. Uh, right. Come on, Bolide. Find some traction through here. Let Brazen get into trouble. Brazen's absolutely sending it at the moment as well. Desperately. I can't. I haven't got the grip. Oh, it's going to be tantalizingly close. Brazen gets on the podium. We could only manage fourth. Oh, <laughs> you know what? From the start of that, uh, <laughs> as Amy puts up there how we came third and fourth, it's because I, I knew my car wasn't going to be strong at this event, so we, we protected it. We protected it until it was go time. Uh, I've gutted we couldn't get that on the podium because it was... Uh, it would have been great to get it on the podium. However, I will say <laughs> it was a great race regardless. Well done, Rampy Bolide. That was good fun. And I will take a fourth. I would have, I would have absolutely... Uh, bit your hand off for a fourth place if I could if you said that at the start of the race so there we go uh, Amy lost some wheels along the way I think zombie may have lost some wheels as well but uh, yeah no actual significant damage either on my car we played it safe and that was the way to go in this one yeah Lado broke and Pega broke shadow broke Joe found some trees it was yeah a race to till destruction and some unusual results were had. So, this is it. The final round of our wacky races. Uh, we're going to finish with a circuit race. Back onto the tarmac. Uh, never driven, never had, never used this track. I, I messed up my English on that, but never mind. We continue. Uh, this is still, of course, sticking with the Utah Extra map. Um, it's kind of a little bit of a uh, go kart ish track. It's quite narrow, which for these vehicles is probably going to be difficult. Six lap race here. Uh, we've got a decent spot on the grid. Things I've got to look out for a little bit is the fast starting all wheel drive cars behind. They're unlikely to match us once we have got going. Because uh, we are likely to have a lot more turning grip than they do. Brazen is the one that I am trying to hunt down, essentially. I think it could be the battle between me and Brazen for this. In theory, it should be the battle between me and Brazen for this for this circuit. Our cars are probably the best suited. Joe's is quick, but it is very difficult to drive. Whereas mine is just much more conventional bolide. Brazen's... It's pretty rapid. I think it's all-wheel drive, I, th I, I believe. Uh, we've got immense turning grip here uh, through some of these corners. The slick tyre is working well on the bolide. Can we do anything? Oh! Oh! I didn't actually go for an intentional bump there. Brazen is going to be unhappy with that. Uh, that <laughs> if, if I went for a roll, you would have known because it probably would have rolled. Um, that was a genuine slight mistake under braking. We just scooped Brazen up. I mean, that is always the danger of the uh, rampy bolide is that it can do that to you if you are in, I say, in front. I, I'm going to have to be wary of that double-decker car. It's got... Oh, I turned a bit too soon there. It has got some pretty good speed around here. And I am... You know, this is a very... A lot of this is very low speed. I've got to be careful with my car. Uh, with putting power down. There we go. We are out the other side. I think Amy was on two wheels at some point through all of that. Oh, don't lock the brakes up down there. That is not what we need. Uh, through these next very fiddly, very tight sections we go. Brazen is still right behind us. I mean, we've pulled the lead out a little bit here. It's not by a huge amount, but we have... Oh, God, it's got a little twitchy. It's got a little twitchy through there. Rusky's ball of wheels is, thankfully, off to the side, so we can get through here. Now, will Brazen go full attack in an attempt to catch. That is the real question. Um, 
do you... This, we don't know. No one knows what the point situation is like at the moment. If you go full aggression to try and pass me for the lead, roll, wreck your car and get no points, that's bad, right? And you don't know how many points you might need. You don't. We, no one knows where they are in the standings. I mean, we did so... Me, both me and Brazen did so much better at uh, the race till destruction than anyone was expecting. We picked up loads more points there than we were expecting. Here, this is the sort of circuit our cars are likely to be good at, and the ramp car is oh, not working too badly around this circuit. Uh, we will blast over the hill. It looks like Impega's vehicle is actually not working terribly here. It's better than it was at some of the previous uh, tracks. We are building the gap now. This is what we needed from the bowline. This is what we like to see. The Covet still sat around in third place. Actually, not bad, considering that is also on big off-road tyres. There is a big fear for that cover of it just snapping its the half shafts uh, that can really struggle with that as a problem. Joe, I think Joe may have had a steering failure. I just saw a bobbly bit of bolide uh, having an issue somewhere. I don't know whether that actually landed back on the circuit. There could have been a little bit of lag, but it might, uh, <laughs> might not have been. It might be Joe out of this race. The jet car was very cool, but is uh, horrifically difficult to drive. Uh, compared to conventional machinery. Um, I mean, we, we do get a good look. Lado's actually in the middle of the fight at the moment uh, with Amy. Uh, oh, engine exploded for Joe. Joe's gone. Uh, <laughs> oh, funnily enough, the jet car, not the best. We, we hear the t <laughs> turbo of the copper. <laughs> it's so silly. I mean, it's, it's, it's glorious but incredibly silly. My door is... I just realised how much the door is flapping around on the roof. Is that Lado in fourth with the Double D series? It might be. That's quite a good showing if that is. I'm just having a nice drive here. This actually really doesn't drive terribly around this circuit. Uh, well, we will get through the dirt down here. And... Oh, it's nice when I've got no damage on it. And... Can, well, I think I must have broken something in the first tarmac race. Because, yeah, this is much, much nicer to drive around here. Uh, there is a smoking rust. There's a great fight going on. This is basically two races. There's the race at the front between uh, the, t the top three. And then, oh, Brazen's lost a bit of time. Oh, I have had a lock-up watching Brazen's battle. Whoops. Uh, <laughs> we've blown the gearbox up a little bit. It's fine. Uh, please don't. Okay, I'm, I'm, I see debris on the circuit. I've got to not hit that. I think that's probably from Joe is going to be my best guess. I've completely lost track of that. It's, I, my brain cannot deal with race, often difficult to drive cars, and commentate, and do count laps. It just, it just, there's too many things for one brain to deal with. I think we might be going on to our final lap now, I think. Um... Oh, don't slide, don't spin, don't do anything stupid like that. Uh, as I said at the start, my car is a specialist car. It was special, I say specialist, it was always going to be... Uh, is that the finish? Okay, that was that was the end, fantastic. Yeah, my car was always a specialist car. It was always a tarmac spec vehicle, um, uh, which I will gladly take. There's been some shenanigans across the finish line there, but I think Lado gets fourth ahead of Amy and then Shadow. Well done. Well done, Lado, with the Double D series. That did surprisingly good there. Oh! Delo Joe. Impega struggled a bit with the glider, so the glider's terrible at this kind of thing. Um, it, it doesn't quite have the handling. But funnily enough, because it's, it's so busy wanting to take off that it is, uh, the wheels aren't on the ground, so it doesn't steer and all that. But, uh, yeah, the ramp car, the ramp bolide, pretty damn good around here. Uh, yeah, drove drove very nicely on that one. We almost rolled Brazen, and it, it was an accident on that one, but thankfully. <laughs> I say thankfully, I mean, we could have done it. Um, but we didn't need to. We didn't need to resort to that level of skullduggery here. However, the points, we do not... I, at the, the time of recording this very section... We don't know. The leaderboard is coming up. What on earth might have happened in this? I'm very curious. 
So we are on to the points. It was incredibly close after the first pass, and it is still incredibly close by the overall, by the end. But it's Brazen that will take victory with a double decker. It is three points clear of my ramp bolide. Had I beaten Brazen at the Driven Till Destruction or Race Till Destruction, I would have won. Had I not wrecked on the downhill part, I would have I would have won. That's the fine margins we're talking about here. Uh, really, really close. Uh, Amy jumps up into third. A really strong second half for that big Grand Marshal. In fact, Amy's the only person to have got two victories in 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 the rounds. Uh, the two Romers were very close, as they are tied on points. In fact, both Zombie and Shadow had victories. They both had second places. Uh, Zombie will be fourth by virtue of having had two second places. Uh, with that, Impega is uh, in sixth. I mean, only ten points separate the top six. And considering we go from a double-decker car to a glider to a ramp car, it's a great variety. It worked, it balanced way, worked way better than I could have expected and could have hoped for, just because of the variety of events and everything. It did keep things very close. It's a little bit of a jump back, though, from uh, sixth to seventh. Uh, Ollie would beat Joe by a single point. The Covert was fast at times, but a bit too fragile, often breaking drive shafts, and, well, the rocket car had its strengths. Uh, but... It was also incredibly difficult to control. Uh, Rusky's ball of wheels ends up <laughs> in ninth with a couple of good rounds. Uh, Lado's double D series did not go quite so well, although it did have a really good fourth place at that uh, at that final race. But there we go. This has been an awful lot of fun to do. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, the results were way closer than I could have ever hoped for uh, in this one. And yeah, I liked my ramp car. I liked my ramp car. It certainly did do some good things. But there we go. That is going to be it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching. And until next time, a goodbye.